Hello, lords and ladies of Hustle Castle. This is Alexa, and I'm going to talk about a few tips to get you started. If you're a new member to the Chessbusters clan, welcome. If you're new to Hustle Castle, welcome. And let's get started. So the first big thing I want to tell everybody, everyone seems to make this mistake. War. So this is our battlefield right here. As you can see, I'm already deployed and I picked a two out of two position where I also deployed just to give you an example here. So if I open this up, it says you can deploy no more than four units at this waypoint. So that's what I've done. I've deployed four units. However, if I change my mind and I want to go somewhere else or I put in the wrong troops, I can withdraw for free. So let's say that I want to head over to Blood Furnace. This one says resurrection cannot be used in battle. These notes are very important, right? And here, deploy your squad at a, a free slot. So here we go. Number of squads, zero out of two and 2,100 glory. So that's going to be divided by however many people deploy at and win this waypoint. So if one person does it, they should get the whole glory, whole, whole glory, <laughs> the whole amount of glory plus any additional bonuses for winning first, second, or third. So if I deploy here, you can see that Zoe from my kitchen has popped up. And why? Because she is in my barracks. So let's go check that out real quick. So here's Zoe, and I have her in my barracks because right now I am vulnerable. My lord, my lady, more like it, your castle has become vulnerable and can be attacked by other players. All right, you know what? I want them to win. Here, here's a very important thing too, and we'll get back to the original point. I have 944 trophies. I want that lower. If I go to my map, everybody's below me. I like it that way. I don't want people come in uh, to come in and take my resources. So I'll keep it below me so that 126,516 squad can't come into my, well, that says 11-6, so let's go ahead and fix the barracks and, and see what the, um, oh, go over here first. Yeah, keep these people happy. If you uh, do these events, or not events, if you uh, take the time to put out the fires to um, get the mice out and the ghosts, it's going to give you gems or diamonds in the long run. So go ahead and take care of those. And it keeps your people happy, which will give you an additional um, bonus on your resources. All right, so she got it. Good job, Zoe. So I'm going to go ahead and put my main four that I like to fight with back in my barracks. So if someone attacked me and they came there and Zoe was left by herself, I'd lose. Which would in turn drop my trophies, which is exactly where I want to be. So that 126 is now versing um, 405,000. So I don't see that happening. So let's just go to a random right here. So 405 versus 312, and they actually have five. That might be the closest one. So maybe my tro trophies are actually a touch higher than... I want them to be. So here we go, another one, 142 versus 405. Yeah, that's not happening. So people are not going to come in here and they're not going to take my resources. However, if I attack them, I would get uh, 30 glory for winning. But I don't want to fight them. I don't want their resources. I just want to be left alone so my resources don't disappear. Now, if I lose against them, I would lose 13 trophies. So yeah, that sounds pretty appealing right now since I'm you know, higher than I want to be with 944 trophies, but we'll leave that along. Okay, so now back to the war. Where did I want to go? Okay, so here. So, it seems like everyone makes this mistake. You're going to hit deploy your squad, and it's going to pop up with the number of people you have in your barracks at the moment. First it was just Zoe and now it's these four. And four is the maximum my barracks will hold. However, I can drag more up here. So I like to go in with two res mages. So I'm going to throw another one in there and I want to put another tank in the mix. 
So there we go. Now, as a clan leader, a deputy leader, or an official in the clan, we can move you. But we cannot change the number or the type of troop that you have. So here we have one. Oh, did we go to? Yes. So I can withdraw from a waypoint and I can put them anywhere that I want to. So I could go here. Okay, maybe I can't go anywhere. Um, there are level restrictions. Let's look at this real quick. Your throne room has to be at least level seven to fight battles. So definitely not level seven here. So I could go here. Uh, physical damage enhanced by 200%. Well, there's a, a couple uh, mages in there, so that's not uh, very advantageous unless they're uh, healing or res. So we'll just put, put them back right here. So I can move you, but I can't change the type or number in the squad. So if you're seeing that all of the points on the map have six for the most part, six slots, go to go to one with six. The only exception to that would be if your throne room has to be at level seven. If there's a lot of those and you're at level seven, that's where you should go regardless of the glory, regardless of anything else, because we're going to have to fill those specific ones as well. And if you've deployed four on another waypoint and I need to move you to this one, it makes us a little bit weaker. So the glory here is going to be a thousand divided by two, but if one person deploys and wins it, then they're going to get that uh, whole 1,000 for themselves. So let's check our last war. So as you can see here, we got an additional 28,000, 20,000 for second, 12 for third, uh, for placing first place, and that is divided among everyone who participates in the war. So even if you deploy at, let's see, do we have someone deploy Colorado Skies? <laughs> we face them a lot, it seems like. Well, goodness, I don't think we lost a waypoint. I wish I could show you, but I feel a little proud of my clan right now, a little extra proud. All right. Well, I can't show you an example, but if anyone were to have been at, let's say, Dragon's Breath and they lost uh, and they were from our clan, they would have still got a portion of the additional 28,000 glory. And that's just it, guys. We need 20,000 glory each clan war cycle. And it's about to roll over. You can see here that we have one day and 35 minutes. Now, it doesn't apply to people who just joined uh, for this clan cycle, but the next one. We expect 20,000 glory. And I know that sounds like a lot, but if you're doing, you know, a couple wars a day, five days a week, you, you can probably reach that 20,000 glory with five minutes a day, just deploying twice. So that's really easy. Now, if you want to get more glory, you can fight people on your map. You, let's see. So uh, you can fight people on your map here. This one would give 30, this one would give 100, and the higher your level, the more glory you're going to get. Now, in the portal here, there's no glory here. Oh, and it's already out of Dark Souls. Wow. Uh, okay, so in the arena, you can participate here for glory. So let, let me show you that real quick. This is a big source of glory, and this is something that you really need to be doing. As you can see here, I have 39,000 badges saved up for a rainy day and I can buy things in the store there that I need weapons armor and the big thing is artifacts so it looks like the lowest person here is this one Leon has four tanks so let's see how this goes Leon it looks like you could come over and join us and I'd be more than happy to help you uh, figure out a good setup for you but thank you for the 92 glory. I'll take that. And I'm going to go on out of here. And I'm going to check my glory. Let's see where I fall. Unfortunately, my cat died this week. She was 18. She had kidney problems. And we expected it. But it, it's still been a rough week. So I am rather low with 109 glory. And usually I'm at 140. 
In fact, this is how we divide the prizes. So if you click on view in the bottom right hand corner, view ranking, you sort by the middle arrow, which is the glory. I had 140,000 last go around and that's how we divvy up the, the prizes in the chest. You get to pick and in order of glory. So I was number one, I picked first, number two picked second, uh, three third and so forth. And there are some exemptions. There are people on this list, Grog, for example, he's level 38, but 14,000 is not enough to receive a prize. So it literally will not allow me to distribute it to him, no matter what I do. So he's number 34 and it says cannot send. So I'm not even able to send it. It's not my choice. So if you don't get your minimum, which is here on the bottom bar, uh, minus 10,000 here. So if you don't get the minimum, there's no way I can, I can help you. Like it's not even an option. And I know some people have asked me, well, hey, can you help me out? Oh, believe me. I wish that I could. I really do. But it's not an option. And additionally, we have a minimum uh, 20K to stay and 20K to get an item. So those little blue stars are very important. We need 20,000 uh, to even pick an item and there's a decent chance you'll get kicked from the group if you do not have the 20,000 by the next time the clan wars roll around. So super important. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real fast because I do love the arena. <laughs> see how much glory we get this go around. I'm going to guess that it's going to be more, but I don't know the exact system. Nope. 92. Same as last time, but that's okay. You can see here, I do five fights. I win five fights. Uh, I'm getting close to 500 glory and that's, I'm going to do that probably 20 times a day. I play a lot. All right. So I have discussed how, where, and uh, what to do when you deploy. Let's talk just a little bit about where to get some gear very quickly. Your ad watcher's chest that's going to provide you with 30,000 food each time you watch uh, an ad. Those are available every six hours. Try to time them out with your war. And every fifth ad that you watch is going to provide you with um, additional content. So. Uh, you're going to get an uncommon item, 25 diamonds, and the possi possibility of a legendary epic or rare item. And yes, it does happen. Right? The daily chest is going to give you a rare, uncommon, or common item. If you are a premium subscriber, you're also going to get the possibility at um, a legendary item. You're going to get 10 diamonds, and you're going to get 30 food on top of the other stuff. Now the item, it's going to be one or two of those. It's not going to be a legendary, an epic, a rare, and an uncommon. It's not going to be four. You might get two items total plus the gems, or diamonds I should say, plus the food. Now you can purchase these chests. They do go up in price as you level. Alrighty. And you can purchase from the portal store. Mystery, rare weapons, epic weapon, legendary amulet, soul catchers, uh, those are really great. If you save up your diamonds, you can also purchase diamonds, right? And shards, purple shards. If you're going to go to the portal, grind for purple shards. That's what you're going to craft your legendary items with, along with mana, super important. In fact, I would say if you don't have enough to craft legendary items for six people, you're not ready. All right, these are the spells. Those are helpful too, but sometimes you can pick spells up for free. There's the adept chest, adept chest, not worth it. Master's chest, mm, still not worth it. And a random resident, definitely not worth it. All right, let's go back to the arena here. All right, I like to stay below me for the first few rounds, first three at least and sometimes four. So I think Steve here is going to be our best bet. Sorry if you hear my chair squeaking. 
92 yet again. So see, almost 300 glory in the span of this video, and all I've done is, you know, the arena. All right. So here is where we craft. This is my weapons workshop, level two. Now, my dwellers are all the same except for one. Uh, so they are maxed out in everything except for fighter training, which could go up to level 55. But I choose not to do that yet because I like this, this bracket. And if you level too soon, you will fall behind. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. If you level too soon, you will fall behind. Glory will be practically unattainable except in war only. And you'll lose interest in the game. You'll either have to send a picture of your ID and ask them to start over. Or you'll grab another device. like, Or you'll quit altogether. It's miserable to fall behind. So trust me here. Talk, talk to your clan. If you're not in our clan, talk to your clan. Uh, and, and ask them. Hey, you think I'm ready? And then have one of the, the next level up guys fight you with um, one less of their warriors and put them against yours and see where you're at. Because that's where you're going to be starting at. Except you're going to get to train up. You're not going to have the gear unless you go over and you upgrade your workshop. Because as you can see here, I have 81, what are those? Epic? 81 epic shards that I can craft items with but that's not enough for a six person squad so if I make those they're only going to be at level 40 it's level what is that move move 35 to 40 that's where I'm at right now and I need to craft items for the next level so that's going to do me zero good so I need to upgrade this room but it costs a lot of gold wood and I can definitely deal with losing that much mana. I usually have surplus, especially since I'm having a hard time coming by shards. And that you can do here. You can break down items as you don't need them. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. So that gave me one more gray shard. All right, back to the arena. Let's see how this goes. Two, four... I think is going to be our lowest. Yeah, two four is our lowest. Where are we sitting? We're sitting at number six. Now we could go two eight, but I think that'll put us too high toward the end because there's fifteen points separating me in first place. So we're just going to do. Is it? What did I say? Two four. Let's do. <laughs> there we go. And I hope this one's 100 glory. No. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I can live with that. Still 400, almost 400 glory. Okay. So if you come over to uh, your book over here, you're going to have a chapter chest. It's going to provide you with um, a few items, diamonds, and some resources. There's also chests within the chapter um storyline I, I don't know what to call it quests chapter quests there we go these are the same essentially items and resources now this one this is the good one this is the rare quest chest and of course there's also an epic which gives you the chance at an epic item but you get this by uh, filling up the amount of scrolls you need which is 800 here and the big one. Where's the big one? Ah, oh, Jack of all trades. Now, because I'm a premium member, I'll get double. Uh, but 200 toward a chest that requires 800, that's not bad. But I really don't like confrontation. And I'm not connected to Facebook on here. So it's really hard to get that one. All right, let's bring this home. 28, 27. Go to seven. Only one has an artifact. This is where your artifacts go. Unpleasant surprise. I have this one as well. So it's going to uh, switch behind the other side for 1.7 seconds. 
and this is also what you can use to make an assassin but we'll talk more about that later this is just the basics and yes the arena is definitely basics I don't care what level you are it's still important hey 135 so I received over 500 glory for less than 15 minutes of my time do that 20 times a day that's what 10,000 10,000 glory I can live with that all right so again keep these people happy and here's the ghost thankfully I have some people in that room but eventually you do enough of these and you're gonna get additional diamonds because it's in the achievements and there are achievements for everything all right good job but here are your achievements and if I accumulate 2,000 ranking points I'm gonna get 200 diamonds that's a lot when an event comes around and, and you want those and in case you're curious if you go to your map and you see the dungeon over here it's cut off will be available when your throne room as is at level 9 the answer to that is level 9 my other account is at level 9 and um, that was when I was talking about you're gonna get disgusted and, and you're just gonna grab another device and you're gonna start over yeah that's what happened I'm extremely underpowered I wonder if I can even show you oh let's go back to the map how underpowered I am so yeah I have a hero which means I've been in the dungeon they are at level 70 and four of my warriors make up 539,000 almost 540 squad power and if you go over here well six of them make up 559,000 squad power so that's that's sad I'm just gonna say that that's sad so as you can see here I have finished first place all right so let's claim this reward woohoo um, before we do let's go to the store and I'm gonna show you here these are artifacts yours may be different once in a while is the best activator and if it's a unique you can only have one so you can't buy four of these and think that you're gonna get to use them all at the same time because you can't you can only use one if it's a unique with the exact same properties so these are both the vial of life yet they do very different things and they have different activators so don't assume that they're all the same uh, the difference here level 35 to 45 and the first one was level 45 to 60 considering I'm at level 40 right now uh, I'm gonna outgrow that pretty fast so I'm just I'm gonna pass uh, but I did um, previously buy this one for just to have on hand um, when I level up so you can buy the might and just sword I bought one of these earlier uh, so yeah you can get equipment here but it's really important to save up your badges on my other account the artifacts cost 15 and 10,000 glory or badges each rather not glory badges they cost 15 and 10,000 glory <laughs> again badges I am so sorry badges and I have nearly 40,000 saved and that seems like a lot but it's really not because when I get to level 9 I'm gonna spend that buying less than four for the squad that I have and I'm gonna have more in my squad than that so I'm gonna need goodness 15 times 5 that's that's like 75,000 so I'm way behind and that that doesn't even count if I want to buy uh, something random and rare or a weapon along the way and I will tell you save up for weapons too you might need it especially if you're falling behind this is a good way to get weapons and there's also the chest here which is kind of pricey but two to four legendary items if you feel underpowered this may be worth it I will tell you 750 diamonds to update this probably not worth it uh, the longer you play the, the the more you'll see just wait it out All right, so we have 20 minutes to war and because it is so late for most people um, we don't have a lot deployed 
So if you're in Europe and you want to join us, uh, let me know. All right, so let's go over here. So for winning, I got 120 badges. I got a chest and a ticket. These tournament chests are a joke. So all it's good for is a shard. I promise you, don't grind for that. Grind for the badges because, again, the tournament chest is a joke. So we'll claim that. We'll go over here. And I will open one up and I will show you. I don't even bother opening them up because this level 11 for my kitchen staff. I mean, that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. But here's another trick. Go to your kitchen. Click on the icon that represents them. And this gray equip button, if there was anything better, it would put it right on them. Oh, so I guess he gets to use the new ladle. So it doesn't hurt to do this, you know, just uh, zip through a few times a week and check on them and make sure they're using the best equipment because this will raise uh, the amount of resources that you are getting. And see, all done. Uh, make sure that you're training to level five now, or I'm sorry, make sure that you are breeding to five stars now. Uh, again, five stars, five stars, five stars, all five stars uh, over here. Five stars, five stars. I don't mean to click off. There we go. Five stars, level 40 in the trainer, uh, fighter training. Mana, 14. Kitchen, uh, 14. Treasury, 14. And um, shed, is that what it is? Lumber mill, uh, level 8. And that's as high as I can go in everything right now. So everyone is cross-trained. And when you get to open up gym bay, you're going to need... You're going to want like 12 or 15 fighters, uh, so that's a level 8. You can open that up. But you're going to need 12 or 15 fighters to go in there. And they're all going to need to be equipped. And they're all going to need to be maxed out uh, as high as you can get their, their fighter training level. Um, as far as 5 stars go, there, I'm going to get to a point where I can upgrade my living room, which is where they breed, and um, the space needed to... Uh, have more so level eight throne room level eight I'll be able to upgrade my living room um, and this is where I will get more dwellers now if I have five star dwellers breeding with five star dwellers I have a better chance of receiving a five star dweller so what's the big deal with a five star dweller well these levels here each one of those and not together but individually uh, can be trained up 20 levels per star so if it, this was a one star dweller they could not reach level 20 in fighter or they could only reach level 20 in fighter rather and they could reach 20 in mana and kitchen treasury and lumberjack uh, or um, all of those but they couldn't go past level 20 so it's 20 levels per one star so that is important maybe not so much now but definitely later All right, so we've talked about the war, uh, 15 minutes to go for that. Uh, again, 20K to play, 20K to stay, uh, 20K to get a prize. Uh, so cross train, five stars, get gear, break, break it down only when you know absolutely positively what you're doing. Absolutely, only when you know what you're doing. And uh, join the wars as often as you can, very important there. As often as you can do the wars, please do. Every six hours, four times a day, uh, deployment phase is for two hours. So watch out here in the clan chat. I may pop up there, and that's the middle one. It has, um, I don't, what do you call that? Um, crest? Coat of arms? I'm not sure. But click on that, and I may say, hey, can you move over to... Um, dust and ashes or layer of horror <laughs> or whatever and ask you to readjust I may move you and say hey I put you on a spot that needs uh, mostly mages can you make more so just check your chat uh, check in maybe check in right before the war starts so you have a few minutes to readjust if you can uh, if not 
I'll just do the best that I can. And remember, I can't change who's there or the number of people. I can only move them from place to place. So let me think, is that everything? Goodness, guys, I feel like there's so much more. Oh, let me show you this real quick. So right now I am vulnerable. Uh, my Lord, I'm a lady, thank you very much. Well, sort of. Your castle has become vulnerable and can be attacked by other players. Well, this is what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to move these guys up here. And where's my Zoe? Is that Zoe? No, it's Mila, but Mila will work. I'm going to put her in my barracks. And the reason that I'm doing that is because if someone comes to attack me, I feel like my trophies are too high. I'm going to lose. <laughs> so it's going to drop my trophies. And the higher your trophies are, the higher the people you face on the map. I, I hope I didn't already discuss this and I'm doing double now. Um, but the higher your trophies, the higher, you know, these people are going to be. They're going to have similar amount of trophies. So 944 versus 929. So that's important. I don't want to get uh, looted all the time. So, one last thing about trophies. When you go to the arena, you have the um, chance at the, the tournament ticket to, oh, using a tournament ticket to participate, you could win uh, the prize, the grand prize. Okay. I don't know if it's all of those items or not. Sorry, I'm sleepy. Oh, see, and that's what shows up. Same as in more. So I'm just going to move in my favorite people here. All right. Now, you are placed in order of trophies. So 944 for me. So this guy's going to have less than 944. 682. And this guy to the other side of me is going to have more than 944 or potentially the same. 1160. So let's go up one more. 1438. And let's see, just out of curiosity, whoa, that, what? That's a lot of tournaments. I'm going to say that there is a possibility that this is a bot. I want to know what you think. Tell me in the comments below, is this a bot? Let's visit his clan too. Oh, that, I don't think that's what I meant to do. Clan information. Let's see here. Well, it doesn't really show me a lot. All right. I want to know, is this a bot? All right. Let's go ahead and attack somebody before I lose my chance. And then we're going to check the number one and see how many trophies he has. I want to know too, what do you think? How many trophies do you think this guy has? Or gal. All right. What do you, do you have your number down below? Are you guessing with us? I'm going to say, let's see, what's the fight power? 385,000. How about 2,200? Oh, way over. This person has 1,925 trophies. And this does not look like a bot. 553 tournaments, 14 first place. This is more like mine. Okay, maybe not so many first places for myself. Let's see, how many do I have? 18. Oh, okay. So I'm doing better than I thought. But how many total? Oh, now see, there's a difference. 1,425 um, tournaments taken place uh, or taken part of. So yeah, there, there's a difference. All right, guys. So now that uh, it has placed us in order of trophies on the first stage, now it's actually placing us in order of how many points we scored.
two, three, I think was the next lowest. Yep. So there we have it, my lords and ladies. That's a good place to um, get started, you know, with the arena. Um, make sure after your 24-hour wait period that you're joining us for Clan Wars. And it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you ladies out there. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. So this is Delexa signing off, and you all have a great one, and I'll see you in the clan soon.